Hi St. Nicholas Kindergarten Kids. It's time for another lesson. Today's lesson is called a parable and we'll, we'll find out what that is in just a minute. But first, let's go in and light our candle. So I got my name tag and remember our name tags are in the shape of sheep. I'm going to light my candle and do my cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. All right. So now, boys and girls, we're going to say all together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen all right jesus was a great and wonderful teacher and he was a really good storyteller and jesus told wonderful stories and these stories he told are called parables that's what our lesson is about today. I'm going to tell you a parable, which is a story Jesus told. And you know what? I think we can watch a short video about it and then we can come back and talk about the video. Jesus told a story about a man who had 100 sheep, but he lost one. <sighs> now what am I going to do? He left his 99 sheep safe at home and went looking for the one lost sheep. He searched everywhere. And when he finally found the lost sheep, he was so happy. shoulders and carried it home. Jesus told another story about a man who had two sons. The younger son said, give me my share of the property and money. So the father divided the property and money between his younger and older son. The younger son went to another country far away. He had lots of fun spending every bit of his money. After the younger son's money was gone, he got very hungry. A farmer gave him a job feeding pigs. As the son fed the pigs, he was so hungry. But he ate the pig food. After a while, he realized he had been very foolish. My father's servants have plenty of food. I'm going home. I'll tell my father that I have done wrong and ask him if I can just be a servant. So the young son went home. He was worried that his father wouldn't want him. But his father had been looking for him every day for a long time. When he saw his son, the father ran to meet him. He hugged him gave him new clothes and had a party to welcome him home. My son was lost, but now he is found. I don't know if you remember, but at the beginning of the year, I told you that your name tags were sheep and that we would learn why in a lesson later in the year. Well, this is that lesson. 
The parable of the lost sheep has something important to teach us. It tells us what a good shepherd is like. He loves his sheep. He cares for them and protects them. When they're lost, he goes out to find them. When he finds them, he's so happy. Jesus is like a shepherd to you and to me. He said, I am the good shepherd and you are my sheep. I know my sheep and they know me. When a good shepherd sees a wolf coming to eat his sheep, he doesn't run away. He stays to fight the wolf. A good shepherd is willing to die for his sheep. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. You see, Jesus is our good shepherd. We are his flock of sheep. Sometimes we get lost. And we don't follow him. We don't do the things he wants us to do. And we get into trouble. But Jesus loves us. And he comes back to find us. And when he does, he brings us back home. It's the same lesson that we saw in the story about the man with the two sons. The young one wanted his share of the money and he took his money and he went far away and he had a lot of fun until he spent all his money. And when his money was gone, he got really hungry. So he got a job feeding pigs and he was so hungry, he ate the pig's food. And then he realized he had made a big mistake. So he went back to his father and he was going to ask his father if he could work for him like a servant. The young son was worried that his father wouldn't want him back, but his father had been looking since the day he left. And when he saw his son walking towards him, he ran out to meet him. And he hugged him and he gave him new clothes and even had a welcome home party for him. Because even though his son made a big mistake, his father never stopped loving him. Jesus wants us to know that God loves us that much. Even if we make mistakes, he still loves us. The Bible tells us there is a lot of joy and happiness and celebrating in heaven when a lost sheep gets back home. I'm going to show you a video now that explains the part in the Bible called Psalm 23. Let's watch it. It's called, The Lord is My Shepherd. Bible chapters for kids. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my loving shepherd, he gives me what I need. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He blesses me with a place to rest. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He gives me peace. He restoreth my soul. He gives strength to my spirit. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, he helps me do what is right, so that others will see how good the Lord is. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, so even when things look dark and scary, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. I will not be afraid, because God is with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He protects me and brings me comfort. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He blesses me even in front of those who don't like me. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. God welcomes me with his love. I overflow with his blessings. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. His goodness and love will always be there for me. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I will live with him forever here and in heaven. So boys and girls, I'm sending you a lesson page. Miss Andrea colored it for us, so yours is in color. It looks like this. It has some of the lesson on the back. 
And I'm sending you a connect the dots page. And uh, at the top it says, Jesus calls us his sheep. And at the bottom it says, God connects his love to you through Jesus. So this is an important page I want you to do. And um, let's end our lesson with a, a prayer in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, thank you for the wonderful stories in the Bible that teach us how to live a happy life doing those things that are pleasing to you. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I'll see you guys next week. Um, at Right after I finish talking, there's a little short song about a shepherd at the end. And um, I love you guys. Bye. I left the others in the open country And I searched the land high and low But I was never gonna stop Until I found you Until I found you There was a shepherd with a hundred sheep And he counted them all the time Till one day when his counting was complete There was only ninety-nine He left the others in the open country And he searched the land high and low He said I'm not gonna stop Till I find you Till I find you He searched the tops of the mountains And he searched by the rivers too And when he found the sheep again He said I'm glad that I found you I left the others in the open country And I searched the land high and low But I was never gonna stop Till I found you Till I found you He put the sheep over his shoulders And he walked home joyfully Then called his friends and neighbors and said Come rejoice with me I left the others in the open country And I searched the land high and low But I was never going